Hello everyone, my name is Lanso90 and welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Sorry that it's uh, nighttime now. I uh, left the game running when I went off to do things in real life. <laughs> uh, let's upgrade our launch pad. Since it's a fairly cheap upgrade and helps things out quite a bit. Uh, I don't think we need to upgrade anything else right now. Administration building, though, I would like to... Let's see, which one do I like to do? Reputation is kind of useless. But I don't I don't remember which one of these guys sells reputation, but one of them does. This guy. Science. Reputation yields science, that's one thing we can do, or we can do fundraising campaign. Takes, uh, reputation gives us money. I think we'd rather do that. Lost that's reputation to set up, but... There we go. That'll give us money for our reputation that we're not going to really use anyway. Alright, let us build our basic plane. Except we can't actually use this. Can we? Nah, we don't, we don't need to make like a super complicated thing right now. We just need something that can drive around the, uh, the space center. We have to be a little bit careful though, I just realized, because we cannot revert flights. Sir Bob will be on his own to, as far as not exploding horribly goes. If he explodes horribly, he is gone forever, so we have to be careful. Now, one of the great mods I have installed is, uh... Oh, I don't know what the official name for it is. It's like a tweet scale, tweet scale. To tweak the scale of parts so I can make that engine the proper size, even though you're not supposed to. Um, aerodynamics, we need some elevons. They're notorious, notoriously hard to put on. Go. Oh, that's not. That'll probably work, actually, but that's not what we want. It was like inside the wing. Probably the look work and probably actually look kind of neat, but not when I can't save and load. Risky. So it's tail fin. So it's side tail fins. We're very. A squat little aircraft. I'll take a look at my center mass and everything here in a moment. Steer down to be. Right there. These bad boys. Get rotated. Brotated, as I call it. That should work pretty well. Now we need to we need this much fuel. We'll do like 80. Uh, center of mass, center of lift. It's fucked up, and I'm never very good at fixing it. Oops. I 
think that's actually part of what you can do. Uh, center of lift has to be slightly behind center of mass, does it not? Oh, why is this not? It's asymmetrical. Let's keep it. It is a very so slightly behind. I don't know if that's good enough or not. Let's see, does tail, does tail fin help? Kind of slides them both evenly. Okay. There is one more thing I can do to bring up the mass. I can stick. Oh, I'll have the uh, container, unless it's somewhere else, say it's a payload. Service bay is what I want. Got some mass, which pulls the thing forward a little bit more. What the hell? What in tarnation? There we go. Reduce the scale. Slam our science parts in there. That's what she said. Doesn't matter too much where we where we stick it. Also what she said. The mad boys in there. Can't rescale it. I thought I could. Right. Are up. All right, that's pretty good. Things considered. Oops, it's two. Doesn't look like two, but it's two. There we go. A uh, couple more things. Parachutes. Because landing is very hard. It's easier to just parachute down. <laughs> it's very lame, but landing is exceedingly difficult, and there's no reason to do it if you don't want to. Instead, so you put on parachutes and you just parachute down. So we're not even gonna take it into the air this episode. We're just gonna drive it around. Uh, do I need Bill? I think he still doesn't have the extra experience gain, does he? Oh wait, that's the engineer. Need scientist. He doesn't get any extra science right now, so it doesn't matter. I'll take Valentina. Give her one experience point. Uh, what should we call the space plane? Wild one. Just uh, these basic things. I'm not gonna give them interesting and clever names just because they don't need it. Everyone makes the same stuff. It's nighttime. I should have time accelerated. I could still do it. No, no, no. I can't because she has life support. We have a life support mod on. We can't do such a thing. We can't toggle our brakes. We can. Oh no, we do need. We do need. Uh, we need uh, Bill. That was wrong. He can rerun the science experiments. That's the value to taking Bill. All right. I don't think I had to go into planer hangar. I think I could have just changed the crew on the launch pad. Let's put a uh, Sir Bob in there. Have another go at it. Should have been loaded. Alright, there we go. I think the best way to do this is that right now we don't have any science because for some reason it doesn't gather it from the launch pad as soon as you launch. I think the best way to change that problem though is to Drive it off the runway and then bring it back on for a second and then drive it back off for a moment. 
But we will get the EVA because it won't be easy to EVA doing that. He has already got it. It's poor. Try to get used to. Okay, now he grabbed everything, so we're good. He just had to go in and go out. Oh, okay. We have to be careful. I can quick save, but I can't quick load. Okay, already going too fast. Already going too fast. It's going to be a slow process. I'll just tell you now. Because we have to keep it like under under like six meters a second between the elevated planes here of different zones. It's like a frictionless surface as well. Break and we need to EVA him. Accelerate back to warp speed. Firmly grasp it. 14 meters a second. It's gonna be too fast. It's gotta be done. We gotta get up. Gotta get flat on with the tire. Ooh. Uh oh. Alright, yay, board, well he has, yeah, he gets electric charge from the engine so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Right. Decelerate a little bit, we don't have to get quite as fast as we were going a moment ago. We don't have to go nearly as far. I don't know if the flagpole is its own biome, but I'll pass it just to make sure. Glorious flag of light fire. All right. Yay! Jump back in. So much nicer not having to click everything, man. Such an ease of life improvement. Careful on those biome changes. Each of these buildings has its own little microbiome. It's a ton of free science, basically. As long as you're careful. I can't believe I used to do this with a freaking... I used to attach two pods together, like these Mark I pods, and then roll them where I needed to be just because planes scared me a bunch in the past because they're more difficult to make this is so much easier to just make a plane do this it works like a car basically a car that likes to flip over, flip over a lot that was actually kind of cool watching all of our pieces turn like that Except it's actually incorrect. I'm supposed to disable the yaws and pitches and stuff, so I'm only using certain parts to do certain things. I think. Based on what I think, I know. Careful. Don't want to turn too quick either. That can cause cause its own issues. Then we're not going to be ballsy. We're going to get all these ones that are on the space center. We just have to go over here to the tracking station, the uh, launch ramp, and then the launch pad. I could even skip the launch pad if I want. We can try to launch this on the launch pad and get all the science we need, which should be a little bit safer. But also take a little bit more time than we need to. I can probably get it up there without killing them. 
probably a risk I shouldn't take. I'm going to do it anyway. But then we'll rescue him from the launch pad, bring him home, and then we'll do another launch to go get the shores and grassland biomes. Uh, gonna be a crap ton of science, by the way. Gonna be a crap ton. Actually, it's probably not as worth as much as like one space flight. But you gotta do it. I just realized there's nothing over here. Kinda got that little dish confused with this secondary one, even though it's the same thing. To the runway. Close there too. It's a little wobbly. I think this will be a good plane for us for actual plane missions in the future. Seems fairly stable and reliable. Right. Brawler way data. Have this. Or did he not get? Oh, you know what? I think Jebediah got this one. Yeah, when we landed the pot, he grabbed it. A different elevation, these little gray spots. Oh, it is, it is, it is, it is. Ooh. Okay, slow down. Panicked a little bit there. Got a little, got a little scary. <clears throat> okay, this is a launch pad. I'm not going to go all the way to the top of the launch pad. From there. Cover the vessel. So that should have cost us nothing, basically, because we're right on the launch pad, so don't have any distance penalty. Actually, it was a fuck ton. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be as worth as much as going to space, but it was worth more. Oh, that thing doesn't need mono propellant. We could take the mono propellant off. Well, it's rescued. All right. Tons more science. Grab the terrier. We're gonna want the launch claps for sure. That also gives us the crew count, which is good for taking other people into space other than the crew. We want these. I want the solar panel. Take it down to 77. Goop. Might as well grab these. All right, that's a good bit of science. We didn't get new science parts, did we? Had this. Yeah, no new actual science parts. So we don't have to worry about doing another mission of that same type there. Uh, we still have test the cockpit, splash down, and get to orbit. to orbit before we upgrade the tracking station. All right, we'll just start from scratch. Good old orbital return. Nice and very difficult. No, it's not that bad. See, this stack decoupler is so much prettier, but it's way heavier. It's the age-old conundrum of every gamer ever. Do I go with the item that's that looks more badass but works less well? Or do I go with the item that 
uh, does more damage but looks shitty. <laughs> Carrier is more efficient. It's heavy. Yeah, the KW Rocket G parts need updated. They're just not as good as they used to be. They used to be way better than stock parts, but stock parts got modified and now the stock ones are better. Except the fuel tanks. I think the fuel tanks AW rocketry are better. Which is why we're using them. And there is a few engines that are actually pretty useful, like this uh this Maverick engine we might actually need. Uh, like a wildcat can. It's hard telling. Might as well bring the Maverick. Messages. Let's see. He's on. Might not necessarily need these, but I, I like to take them just to make sure it's not as bad as some other monstrosities that are uh, way over the top for the job. <laughs> Shit, everything is off kilter. Okay, okay. Get it done, get it done. It's correct. Alright. Belt of the Lux is down there. Flip me out of control. More parachutes. This stage is not gonna come back, I don't think. No, it could. Yeah, it's gonna come back. I can throw the mono propellants. So, solid fuel, those all parachutes go last, separate those, is that, separate these, that, centrifuge, then actually these go before the final shoot on there, uh, dial back the engines, Perhaps. So guess we should bring. Do we need to bring science? We've already brought the science up there. I think after you run it once, you don't need to run it again. For the low orbit, at least. All right. So it's our we'll call this Boris. So I guess it could be Caps. Or so on. First orbital. Uh, might as well take Valentina. Jeb doesn't actually have any experience. He has that one point of experience, but it's not gonna help us. Oh, can't support vessels over 40 parts. How, how much am I over? Ah, uh, someone logged into a game and now I can't see my buttons. See them on the recording window, but if I click down there, it's gonna click on it's one part over. I suppose we should just say goodbye to like those
Resources, ah, I never fixed this freaking thing. Okay, those go, those go. All right. Moment of truth. Are the thrust limiters over limited? They're not. In fact, they could probably be dialed back a little bit. Actually, they're probably probably just fine. They are going to make us go a little bit too fast, I'm sure. But it's not going to be a big deal. Careful, careful, careful. This is our first big launch. Those other things were... Piddly little rockets. Try to slow down a little bit just so I get a little bit more control. Actually, a little flimsy. Not sure why that is. It's not like a ridiculously tall rocket. A little tall, but. It's not like apocalyptically bad. a little bit shaky. I don't really know why. I must have mounted something a little bit wrong. Or actually, it's the... it's these. These are better when they're on the directional plane than they are when they're on the diagonals. But we're already into orbit. Or a low orbit. Suborbital trajectory. Didn't do that gravity turn as well as I should have, but should be okay. Time to accelerate a little bit here. Need to get a little bit of width. I'm gonna start the burn a little bit early. Probably limit the thrust a little bit more on that first stage. And I could probably put a Maverick on this stage here. For now, as we build a bigger rocket, we might, we'll probably need these bigger ones. Or this is the Maverick. The Mad Cat is the small one. That was weird. Game's feeling a little bit glitchy, but I don't know what it could be. Lost those bad boys, but that's fine. up a little bit. Possibly need a Vesta for this stage just to have a little bit extra oomph. At least if we're gonna take this much fuel. Probably could have ditched this and took the Terrier. But if we want to take this much up we probably need the Vesta. And or do a better gravity turn that would probably also help. This is actually overkill on fuel, so probably just remove this. fuel. Alright, that's it. He's done it. We've entered orbit. First try. Bunch of money. Excuse me. Nice. 
Not so much. All right. So we're gonna try to deorbit close to space center if we can. I know there's a trick to doing it. I don't know what exactly it is. Let's just try burning up periaps here. Maybe a fair, fair stab at landing close. Scared me when I flipped there. I need to get used to using Z and X a little bit more. They usually just throttle up and down. I got a little bit more aggressive than that. Zoom. All right, here we are. Let's get home. Actually, I have a ton of excess fuel here. Guess we'll save it until we see re-entry effects, and then... Although I did hear something about, like, burn it before you get to 60,000. With the best slowdown results. This is gonna make us not land at KSB, but... Eh, we don't, we don't need to do this. Let's just... Ooh, let's just ditch the thing. No need messing up something that's working okay. In fact, I might have like, I might have like hurt our chances by doing that. So ah, ooh, not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to press. Okay. Try to keep our solar panels out of the heat, sort of. That nah. not really helping them, but it's fine. Oh, this got reset. Yeah, I think I probably should not have uh, done that slowdown I just did. That's asking for trouble. stopped heating up so we're probably fine. Now even the solar panels are cooling down so we're good. And we'll complete the contract for a splashdown too. Let our speed dial down. Still burning like a ton of speed just by existing, so pop them at like 300 meters per second. Pop them. Like 
200 on top of the next shoot. No real math behind that, just seems like a proper way to do it. Now we can have a nice, super safe descent with all these parachutes. Can't remember when the drogue shoots deploy. I don't know if it's 2,000 or if it's 1,500. Something like that. Could even be 3,000. I'll go down to times two. Just in case they suddenly deploy. Okay, it's 2,500. Now we're going to drift very slowly down. Then even more slowly when the main parachute deploys. no g-forces with that second sheet deploying. That's what I like to see. Coming in at 5.5 .5 meters per second. Very safe velocity. Splash down. Splash. Sort of orbit. About to yeah, run test. Go, got that complete. I already have a splash down EVA while well, it's bored anyway, and recover the vessel. Even though we didn't do any science, I think we'll get science back as well. Just from returning from orbit. Ten. Eh, not very much. Got some money back. 83% of value from the distance. Level 2 XP gain, level 1. Alright. Well, that's all the time we had for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.